Okay, so everybody wanted to know how much it was to go scuba diving down in Destin, since that's what I talk about all the time. So here it is at 7.30, what? Yeah, I do 7.39? 7.30 something. You are the cameraman. You are supposed to know. Yeah, well, when the camera's on, I can't see the clock. 7.43. Okay, so 7.43. We've already spent 25. What did we spend at Kroger yesterday? I don't know. I didn't go in with you. What was on the bank account? I don't know. I didn't look. I think I've already spent like $25 to, to uh, for our snacks and stuff. Um, yes, we are in a shelter in place. Yes, we are in a travel ban. But we got to get out of the house. Um, we work, but we got to get out of the house and do something different. So, what is a good thing for a scuba diver to do while all this crap is going on? Support your local dive shop. The one we're supporting is not so local, but it's our favorite dive shop. Second, our favorite dive shop on the pan Panhandle. How about that? It's our favorite dive shop on the Panhandle because we got some pretty good dive shops. Um, so, here it is, 7 whatever in the morning. And oh my God, it's early. I'm used to getting up until then. Next stop, food and gas. Okay, so we spent $6.42 on McDonald's. And I am now <coughs> I am now fueling up. There is a code that we in the hospital industry can use that will take 50 cents off every 50 cents a gallon off every purchase we do at a BP slash Emico station. I will put that link in below because it's something at id.me.com. I don't know exactly remember what it is, but I'll put the code down below. But it does work. I don't know if it works for every time or for two times because when you get the code, it gives you this email that it's used for two. Um, but when you do the email from Amico, it says every time you fill up. Um, but yeah, I just went from $1.50 a gallon to a dollar a gallon. So I'll take all the 50 cents I can help. Um, so yeah, that, and I'll put how much fuel we put up or we give up here in just a minute. I have not spent a dollar a gallon since I was 16. So that was so cool because used to, I had a motorcycle, I had a five gallon tank, $5 lasted me a whole week. Um, I just spent $17.70 to fill up my Murano. Um, all right, let's get traveling. Off to Destin. officially in Florida been there for a while um, it is 1 30 our time we left about 8 30 of course with gas we've stopped to get something to eat so we've got I think 70 miles left to go so we're getting off the freeway and the Funiac Springs or whatever they want to call it the Funiac um, now that 331 has finally four laned all the way down there so we're gonna have to call the shop here in a little bit. It's supposed to be there at one o'clock their time, and it's coming up on twelve thirty their time. Yay! 
Alright. Um yes, hopefully that's our update from Florida. There was no problems coming in. Um, there are no checkpoints right now. There's no any of that. And of course, like I said, we're essential because we're bringing business to Florida and uh, we're essential because we're bringing you to Florida. See you guys in, see you guys in Destin. Well, we did not record anything. We dropped all of our gear off, said hey to Anna. Um, she's gonna try to outfit Tammy out in new gear. Hopefully it works. And it would be nice if it's a decent price, but hey, you know, it is what it is. Well, she did say she was gonna hook me up. So. We, will, we will work it out. Um, just to so, just to show you, we did make it down here. To, we, this is this is our scuba shop, y'all. Yeah, this is our Destin scuba shop. Destin, Florida. So we do our training. We do everything as far as education is here. We love other scuba shops: Amore Dive Resort, the Kailami. They are great, great dive operators. But we do our education here because we one spot for education so that way the instructors know who we are um, we haven't seen anna in over a year mm -hmm. year and a half and she still teaches us like we're family because she talks to us um yeah this is the great city of dustin and believe me when i tell you there is absolutely nothing going on every shop down here is closed um, we're going to go down here to Margaritaville, see if I can even turn in. Well, that, all these parking lots would be full of cars. That hotel would be full of, of, of uh, construction workers' cars. So, all these boats you see out here on the hard, they would be in the water right now if this was the normal season. Uh, we just found out that the hog's breath, which has been here since 1978, they just sold because they couldn't afford to, to keep this open while all this was going on. Um, let's see what we got. I'm watching. Good, because if it was me, we would have already hit something. Water burger is open. That's probably what we're gonna eat. Nasty water burger. Not really. Just... Um, we're here at Harbor Walk Village. I'm trying to make sure nobody runs into us here. We're here at Harbor Walk Village. Ninety percent of the time, this is packed got coyote ugly here and they've got boats from the rental place that are is up on the hard um, all, all of this, this would be full would be full there would be no parking right here at this time of day I guess I go this way. hey he's coming back with food yeah, where's he coming back with food but what's open I don't know but all of this would be packed. There'd be a band playing. There's Destin Snorkels where we first started our very first dive. Um, so now, yep, all of our gear's turned in. We're gonna find out in a couple of weeks how much it's gonna cost to get everything serviced. Um, we could have gone to the dive shop in Marietta in Atlanta, but I just figured, one, we needed to get out of the house. Two, we need to go somewhere that we like. We do like the live dive shop in Marietta. It's just if we're gonna drive and get out of the house, at least when we come back down here Memorial Weekend, our gear is right here. We don't have to go somewhere else and get it serviced. Um, all right, well, we're on the way back and I, I have not filled up a gas yet. We did stop and uh, get some snacks. About, what, 12 bucks? We'll say $12. Yeah, about 12 um, we did stop and get some snacks, but we haven't paid for anything yet. I still got 81 miles left. Forty-four miles left for fuel. So we will see you when we get fuel or food. So here we are, Destin. Yay! Unfortunately, beaches are closed. 
This is as close as we can get to it. Well, we got one. Hold on. About the brick city council rules. I'm in the sand. There. Hi. I'm on a beach. Just can't stay on the beach. Yeah, you ready to see how crazy this is? Come on. Hold on, let me get my phone. A Murano is all the way down there all by its little lonesome. Alright. So, underneath up there, the candy shop. What do we got in the candy shop? Back porch is right down there. You see the vehicles. There ain't none. Nada. All of these hotels, every single one of them, not one be not one car, not one customer. Luckily, a lot of the restaurants are doing takeout, so we're getting food from the back porch here in about 10 minutes. So, yeah. I would not, if it was a normal day, I would not be able to stand out here and not get ran over by a golf cart, kids, something. No, it ain't happening. So, all right. Now let's go get some food. Notice what I saw? This is the back porch in Destin. Even in the winter time, there's usually five or six people out here doing something, having some enjoying some food, enjoying the water, enjoying the waves. Hopefully, next couple of weeks, Florida opens this back up. We can start giving some service down to these get these people down here because I know they're hurting for business. This is their spring break, you know. So luckily, so people like the back porch here, they've got enough ability to have stuff to go. Unfortunately, like the hog's breath, the hog's breath, uh, I think the gentleman had to sell. I just found out that from the scuba shop. Sorry, I'm mistaken. I'm like all over the place there. Uh, but hopefully, whenever all this starts rolling around, we get up. Those of us that are working at the hospital, we get up, we take a vacation, we come out here, enjoy this and give these people some of the money we worked on, earned while we were helping everybody else out. All right, so, she's driving, yay. Hi. That's Tammy, by the way. Um, so we just put $35 in gas. We saw some places around um, Destin. Uh, one of our friends' uh, rental property, the property that we're gonna be renting in June. And uh, like I said, basically acting like we did a two hour trip out on the Gulf and back. So now we're headed back. Um, we're gonna take a different way. We're gonna go through Crestview. Like what we came down was through uh, Columbus, Dothan, yeah. and then over, to, then over to 331 to Defuniac and then that way. Where we're going home is Crestview. We're on Highway 4 now, going up through Florida. And as y'all know, it goes into Alabama. We get on Highway 85 somewhere up north. And it says it's only five hours and ten minutes, so we'll see. But so far, that's our that's our day so far. So, like I said, everybody want to know what a dive day was like. And that's what a dive day is like. Um, and how fast it is we can get down to Destin and come back. So, like I said, she's driving. She's so thrilled. Anyway... See you in a little bit.